Hello everyone. This is my very first Blended with Love haul. Um, this is also, I think, her first mystery box. This was um, in collaboration with someone. I can't remember who. Let me see if I have the paper. Um, it's a luxury mystery box featuring Chloe Lolita designs. She had the option of all wax or one with a mystery item from a fellow Florida designer, I guess. And I didn't notice that it was the first selection was mystery box with the mystery item. So I accidentally got that one, but that's totally fine. So let's see what I got. She also has um, really cute shapes. She has teacups that are, I think, like they're, they're wax teacups. A um, couple of blends in there. She has, I think she has loaves. I haven't really been following her for too long, so I'm not sure. I know she has, um, I think it might be teacups with gems in it for the restock that just happened or is just going to happen. I'm not real helpful right now, sorry. <laughs> but I mean, I love the color of this box. I mean, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, what's that? And then I realized it was my box. And then this has purple, pink, and white shredded paper in there. So that was super pretty as well. And first up is the mystery item, which is Chloe Lolita Designs. I will show you her card. Not that you can read it because of my horrible camera. Um, got a pineapple on it. That's always good. And then we have the item. Comes in a little bag. And I assume, I don't know if it's supposed to be a necklace or a bracelet. Probably a necklace. But it comes on a kind of leather cord. I don't know if it's real leather or not. And then that's the little charm. Very nice. Then we have the actual items. So first up, I think the ones that I saw that didn't have the extra item were larger sizes. Although I think I only saw like one or two pictures. So I'm not really sure what everyone's different blends were. So this one is Bananas For You, which is banana bread, blueberry, and warm vanilla sugar. I mean, yes, please. And then look at that little, got like little dried flowers on it. Which makes me a little worried because these all seem to have dried flowers on them. Which makes me think that they might smell a little floral, even if they're not actually floral blends. But I do like this one, the Bananas For You. Because it has the banana bread, not it's a little bit warm but not spicy, and I definitely smell the blueberry. The warm vanilla sugar, I think, is a blue um, blueberry. It's Bath and Body Works body care dupe, although I think they made it into a candle as well. But I actually like this one. This one is really nice. It's not too strong, and it smells like it's supposed to smell. So yay. <laughs> Next up is Joanne, which is lemon custard, red currant, and avo bath. It's got a cute little heart shape. I'm definitely getting mostly the avo bath, although technically lemon custard is just yeah, it smells it's most more lemon than lemongrass, but the lemongrass is definitely there. I'm not really sure I'm getting any red currant. I actually kind of like this one because it doesn't smell florally or, you know, too astringent. So I like that one as well. And we have Take Me Away, Salty Sea Air, Olive Branch, Indian Sandalwood, and Violets. And then kind of a butter, what are those, butter short, the short, um, peanut butter cookies. Let's say shortbread. <laughs> Kind of looks like that from Maring. 
And this one is, I do smell the kind of salty sea air thing. And sandalwood, although it's more of the, not the vanilla sandalwood that I like, but it's not a bad smell. And then, it, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what it smells like. It kind of smells like if your grandma was at the beach. I don't know. It actually kind of smells nice. Like it smells like a, a perfume that a rich lady would wear. So, you know, there's that. I don't know if I can melt it, but it smells nice. We have Girls' Night, which is Chardonnay, Sugar Plums, and Cream Soda. Kind of a purpley, some flowers on it. I actually kind of like this one. Because I think it's more of the um, plum cream soda. The Chardonnay doesn't smell too alcoholy to me. Because sometimes, you know, Chard you know, they'll have a wine scent, but it won't actually smell alcoholy. And then sometimes you're like, holy crap, that smells like a bottle of alcohol. So this actually smells kind of good. I don't know if I can melt it, but I'm kind of hoping I can. And we have Doll Parts, which is pink sugar, baby powder, margaritas, tea, and cakes. That's a weird combo. Uh, got a little chunklet with blue cherries. I'm trying to figure out what baby powder and tea and cakes would smell like together. <laughs> they would smell weird. I'm trying to like pick out scents, but like, mm -mm, I don't smell pink sugar. I smell mostly baby powder and maybe a tea and cakes with some lime. I don't know, but that's, I can't, no. No. That's one of the things is that she has like really cute um, shapes, but they're kind of expensive. Although for the, what they are, like the, I'm sure the size of it and the amount of work that goes into it, I'm sure it's definitely worth it. It's just that she kind of has some weird scents, like that one, where I just don't know. But I still, I'm still hoping, you know? Um, the next one is Wish Upon a Star, which is A Thousand Wishes and Fruity Pebbles. And that's the little pink one. Hmm. I'm trying to... So I actually have a Thousand Wishes body lotion, I think, from Bath and Body Works. I smell the fruity pebbles. The Thousand Wishes, I'm trying to figure out what that smells like. I'm trying to figure out that flower that's on there is giving me a scent too. Because like when I have it in this, it smells weird, but when I take it out, it definitely smells a little bit better. I mean, I'm definitely getting the fruity pebbles and a kind of... Not a lotion scent, but something that would easily be a good smell in lotion, so I'm not sure about that one. Then we have Strawberry Shortcake, and that's kind of like a purpley, a little bit tie-dyed looking. I like that one. It smells like strawberry. When I take it out of the bag, it smells more like the strawberry shortcake doll. But when I have it in the bag, it smells more like strawberries. So, I still like it. Then we have Fairy Fizz, which is raspberry, lemonade, and orange soda pop. It's kind of a white with green tie-dye. I'm definitely getting the lemon and soda pop smell. Let's say, um, I'm trying to figure out. I think that one's pretty realistic to what it's supposed to be. I don't really smell any one specific scent. It doesn't smell like overly fizzy, doesn't smell overly citrus. That one's a nice one. Then we have 
Minnie and Daisy Iced Lemon Cookies Best Friends in Pink Chiffon. It's a little square version. White and pink. I smell the pink chiffon. It's different from pink sugar. Slightly the same, but also slightly different. But then I smell the lemon cookies. I mean, it's not overly lemony. I would definitely say the pink chiffon is the biggest scent. And then I'm getting kind of a... I'm trying to remember what Best Friends is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a berry or a citrusy tropical kind of smell because that's kind of what I'm getting so I actually like this one full on like it that one is a good one all right then we have boardwalk bakery which is Danish butter cookie salty sea air brown sugar fig spicy apples and peaches and that's a blue tie-dye really nice looking And I think I like this one. It's another one of those, I think the the actual thing smells slightly different than the bag. I don't know if the bag has a scent of its own. Because I feel like I'm getting the salty sea air, peaches, some of the spicy apple, and then some bakery. I actually like that one. I do. It's weird because like it has the salty sea air and then the bakery fruity thing, so it's kind of weird, but I like that one. That one's a nice one. And then the final one is Baby Cakes. Lemon curd and vanilla bean Noel. And that's just one of those little break sticks kind of thing. And I like that one. Yep. Cause it's just apparently I'm just too simple it just smells like lemon nice strong creamy sweet lemon and then the vanilla bean noel it actually does smell like the vanilla bean noel because it has a hint of a like caramel cookie kind of smell so I like that one as well so overall I like some of the scents I dislike some of the scents there's one scent that I just is not gonna happen that, that doll parts one, that's a no for me. Um, this is nice. It's not my style, but it is very, very pretty. And it looks it looks well made. Yeah. It totally looks like something that would stand up to time. So, better than I would make. <laughs> so, overall, I'm definitely glad I was able to get a mystery box. I think she's planning on doing them once or twice once a month or once every two months or something I'm not really sure I think she just did a unicorn one almost right after this one and I wanted to get these first to smell them so I didn't actually buy that one but I probably would have liked that one better because <laughs> it has a unicorn I don't know what the unicorn thing will be but it's gonna be a unicorn item from another company so I'm definitely glad I was able to smell these I'm going to try to melt at least one or two of them to find out how they throw for me and hopefully I'll be able to buy again because I mean just the shapes alone were so cute that I saw that I kind of want to buy just for those shapes especially those ones that she just made with the geodes and crystals and stuff because I love those things as you can see so thank you so much for watching and of course I'll be back with another one bye